1952 at Dallas, Texas, John Searcy established the Interstate Batteries. Finally, on 1978, Norm Miller becomes the president of the Interstate Batteries. Well, Toast, you get your battery charges for your car and get to work. Abe, I just stopped by to tell you that the sponsors are nuts about having you on Hysteria. I mean, your demographics are through the roof. <laughs> Country bumpkins are in. Ciao, buddy. No problemo, bro. I'm a full-on master of disguise. Bro, do not go there. Cha! Why didn't you say so, man? Here! And get a grip! Yeah, how about... Hey, it's next year, dude. Now, in 1944, Oppie here was the leader of a group called the Manhattan Project. I like it. I think. Listen, you're, you're not gonna call my mom, are you? She doesn't know I'm out. Okay. Maybe we'll give you a discount on some of them. Then you gotta punish the enemy leaders. Train nasty. So happy trails, Oppie. You are out of here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Awesome. Hey, I'd like to thank my guest Mahatma Gandhi for hanging with me today. And speaking of hanging, until next time, I'll be hanging ten. Hysteria Party presents the Interstate Batteries. Outrageously dependable. Toast wants a whip as army. Toast wants to ride a army. Toast wants a life without a care. His sunburn is insane, but he'll never complain. Cause his skin is just as fried as his brain. He'll remain on the beach, that's his domain. Colonial Philadelphia, home of Benjamin Franklin, statesman, scientist, inventor, and really, really tired guy. He's been up all night trying to come up with clever sayings for his book, Poor Richard's Almanac, but the words aren't exactly flowing. Wind's picking up. Look at it go! Killer! It's 10 a.m. used to say, early to bed and early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. Hey, I like that. It's yours. Thanks. Big fat baby needs a change. Whew. He smells. Like my grandmother used to say, fish and visitors smell in three days. Yeah, I like that. It's yours. And so is he. Hey, mister, can I borrow a Bunsen burner on a jar of library base? What for? Hey, it's personal. Go away. Nice vase! That's not a vase. Nice jar! It's not a jar either. It's a, it's a priceless urn. Whoa! Check out all the pennies. Stay away from my penny collection! Ooh. I got it! I said, dude. Like my grandmother used to say, a penny saved is a penny earned. I like that. It's yours. Thanks. Hey, we can get up to the roof through here. You are correct, sir. I found the paste in Bunsen burner. What? Oh, no. What are you doing with my glasses? Sorry, I broke them, but I glued them back together. Why you, I ought to... Hey, wait. Double lenses? Bifocals? I like it. It's yours. Thanks. So, uh, what's the Bunsen burner for? Roasting the weenies. Oh. Push, everybody! hi -oh. Hey, hey, what did you kids do to my stove? It looks different. Bigger. Hey, I like that. It's yours! Thanks. 
Frankly, I'm thrilled. Lucky Bob got the kite back! Yes, no. Good. Where's my key? Um, hi -oh. oh, my golly. Up there? You are correct, sir. Give me that. Wow. That's awesome, man. What, that? Well, yeah, that's just lightning. Lightning? <laughs> You just discovered that lightning is made of electricity. I did. I like it. It's yours! Thanks. And so Benjamin Franklin published Paul Richard's Almanac, which included many memorable quotes. He also invented the Franklin stove, created the first bifocal eyeglasses, experimented with electricity, and invented the lightning rod. It's yours!